Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost, and today I'm going to show you how to take words and show either the singular or plural form of that word, whether it's dog or dogs or people or persons or persons or peoples, whatever you <laughs> based on some value, like the number of dogs they have or the number of people in the family. So logged on yesterday to Experian to check my credit score and uh, yeah, rookie mistake. Do you see it anywhere on here? Maybe somewhere right there, right? My score is increased by one point. Come on. I don't want to pick on Experian too much because I don't want them to tank my credit score on me, but <laughs> come on. That's a rookie mistake. You don't do that. All right. That's that's programming 101. So I know a lot of you are asking, well, how do I do that? Well, let me show you how. All right. Before we get started, you should know how to make calculated fields and queries. It's the easiest way to do this. You should know how to use string concatenation. That's putting together two strings to make one. And you should know how to use the if function, the immediate if. I, I, F. Yeah, it's if. That's how you got to pronounce it. That's a rule. Um, all of these are free videos. Go watch them if you're not familiar with these concepts. The if function, for example, let's just say if uh, a value is this, then do that. Otherwise, do that. It's like a mini if-then statement. So go check all these out if you're not familiar with them already, and then come on back. All right, so here I am in the Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to. And I got a customer table, and in this customer table, I've already got a field over here called family size. And we can use that to display whether or not you've got one person or four people in your family. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let's do something simpler. Let's add a field called num dog. What is num dog? Well, it's the number of dogs this family has. I like to keep all of my field names singular if I can, because that way later on when I'm doing like advanced programming, I don't have to think to myself, okay, is it num dog or num dogs while you're typing it, right? You can obviously see it if you're in a table or query. But that's just one of my personal things. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. All right, I'll make this a number of type long integer. We'll save that real quick. We'll come in here. We'll give a few people some dogs. All right, I got two, one, eight, four, two, zero, zero, two, one, whatever. Okay, so some people got some dogs. All right. Now, the thing with singular or plural, it's interesting. If you got one of something, it's singular. You'd say like one dollar, right? Also, negative one is technically singular. You say negative one dollar. That's really weird. So I guess you really want to look at the absolute value of a number to determine whether it's singular or not. That's weird rules. But it's one and minus one would be singular. But for this purposes of this, of this video, we're just going to worry about positive numbers. All right, so let's make a query. And we'll bring in that customer table. And I'll bring in the dog field. I'm dog. There we go. And I just want to see values that, I want to see customers who have a value. If it's null, that means I don't know if they have any dogs or not. So we'll just say is not null down here. All right, so now I'm just going to see all the people who have dogs. There they are. Those are cool people. Well, except for the people with zero. Anyways, so let's say I'm going to format a report to go out. And in that report, I want it to say whether they have one dog, two dogs, zero dogs, and so on. So we'll have, we'll make a field called the dog message, right? I'll zoom in so you can see this better. Shift F2, right? The dog message is going to be if IIF num dog equals one, then comma, we're going to put the word dog here. Otherwise, we're going to put the word dogs just like that. You're singular and you're plural. And maybe in front of that, we want to actually put the value itself. So we'll say num dog and a space and that entry right there. So let's say like two dogs, zero dogs, one dog. All right, see how that works? Hit OK. I'll save this, Control S. I'll save this as my dog Q, my dog query. And I'll give it a quick runsy. Now look at that. Two dogs, one dog, eight dogs, red fish, blue fish, green fish, whatever fish, right? Fish is. <laughs> Yeah, you can do something simpler, simpler, similar with the family size field. We got the same thing here, family size, right? We got some numbers there. Let me cheat. Well, we got some ones and twos. I'll put a zero in here, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, do the same thing over here. Shift F2, zoom in. We'll call this the family message. 
is going to be family size and a space and if uh, uh, family size equals one then person otherwise people see hit okay and take a peeks there you go two people one person four people zero people what's wrong with you people All right I already told you, I have people skills. <laughs> all right, so that's all. Just a quickie today. Um, you could use the same thing in a query, or you can use it in a form, or you could put it directly in a, in a report field if you want to. I, I usually put it inside of a query, because then I'll use the query to build the form of the report. You could put it in VBA code, too. The if function works in VBA code, so if you're a developer, you can do that. I guess I forgot to label this one. Not quite beginner, but there's no programming. So we'll call it expert. Expert's like you need some functions and stuff like that. It's like between beginner and developer. But there you go. There's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you.
Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.